coming up. I say that right? Lottery? You did. Okay, good. Um, Celtics have, will probably get one of six picks. And if they get one of the top two picks, I would suggest them keeping one of those players. Brandon Ingram and Simmons, Ben Simmons of LSU. Uh, looking at the Celtics roster, they need shooters. They absolutely need shooters. There's, there's many scorers in this draft this year. Uh, I've watched a lot of college hoops, tons of college hoops this year. Uh, I think the one thing that's different with the NBA draft than any other draft is upside. So, for instance, in the NBA, I don't see a lot of upside in Buddy Heald. A lot of people think that that's the guy who should go number three overall. He's 22 years old. He played four years of college. He's not the greatest defender. But how much upside is there for Buddy Heald? Uh, Denzel Valentine, same thing. I think he's a plug and play guy. You, you, you draft, uh, Denzel Valentine. He is in your rotation right now. But when it comes to upside, that's where the NBA lottery can get a little tricky. And Ingram and Simmons are clear cut number one and number two. They're not, uh, you know, Andrew Wiggins or Carl Anthony Towns or any of those type of players. They're not those guys, but, they're players that you can build around. And if you look at some players in the league, you look at star players in the league. People originally uh, immediately go to Steph Curry, LeBron, Durant. And then when you think about players who could become available, you know, there's the Blake Griffins of the world. Then there's the young players that have been drafted over the last few years who you can try to build around. Anthony Davis is one of them. I mean, Carl Anthony Towns is just one guy I look at and say, wow. This is somebody you can truly build around. Now, Brandon Ingram, I'm not sure, but I know he can score and he can shoot from the outside, and that's something the Celtics clearly need. Simmons is not something necessarily that the Celtics need, but he's a scorer, and I'm curious if you take a step back, if you could land the number two pick, you take a step back to try to develop this kid a little bit more. Or you, or if you get the third pick, that's what really becomes interesting. And on most mock drafts, the Celtics come up with the third pick. Brooklyn, of course, had the third worst record uh, record in the NBA this year. 